Hey everybody, welcome back to Bree's Toys. My name is Stephanie Bree, and today I'm showing off an interesting and unique figure from my collection, and it is an unboxing. Interesting and unique because this is the first DC villain that isn't a Batman villain that I have in my toy collection. So I do have the main Batman villains already, Joker, uh, Mr. Freeze, the Riddler, Penguin, Catwoman, etc., but I don't have any villains from any other DC Universe comics. So I don't have any Flash villains. I don't have any Superman villains, etc. Until today, I got Gorilla Grodd, who is not only a Flash villain, but also a Justice League villain. So it says three surprise accessories inside, which I don't understand why they do that. But there he is. He is in scale with the others. This is the three and three quarter inch action figure line, but he is in scale with them, so he will tower over my other figures, which is perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up. It opens in the back here. There's nothing on the back for me to show you. It's just gibberish. No pictures or anything. So we'll start by opening up the uh, surprise accessories and see what we got. I hate that gimmick, by the way. Like, just tell, put on the box what he comes with. I hate when they say surprise accessories. Like, if I bought another Girl of God, would he come with different accessories? Probably not. All right, so he's got a shield with his face on it. That's pretty neat. He's got a um, spear, I guess. I'm going to say spear. Sure. And what looks like uh, a mace of sorts. So... All right, he's he's armed to the teeth and ready to do battle. Now let's open up the figure itself and see what he's like. Um, I actually like this toy line here, this DC toy line that they have currently running better than I do not like the six inch DC toy. I do not like six inch toys by and large. I prefer three and three quarter inch. Um, so I like these ones because they're in scale with my other action figures, my Star Wars, G.I. Joe, etc. And so I can have Darth Vader fighting against the Flash if I wanted. All right, here's the figure. Um, he's very metallic looking. I don't know enough about the character or the um, Justice League to tell you if this is comic accurate. Or if this is based on a movie or TV show appearance. Um, I did watch the Flash TV show. Most of it. I got bored after a while. Because those CW shows got pretty fucking boring. They just ran too goddamn long. Um, they, it felt like they were never going to fucking end. And I remember Gorilla Grodd being one of the characters on the Flash. One of the villains. So that's how I n recognized him. So he has this little... Um, I don't know if it's vinyl. It's not really cloth. I don't know what it is. It's this really plasticky cave. I'll say plasticky cave. It's probably... No, it's not vinyl because it's flimsy. I don't know what it is. It feels like a ribbon. You know, like a bookmark you get at the library when you buy a pack of bookmarks from the bookmobile. That's what it feels like. That material. So that's not great. That's a ding against the figure. In fact, I'll probably cut that off, you know, even though it'll hurt the aesthetic. I just, I feel like it's going to get in the way. And it's just so fucking gross. I don't like the, that material. I don't like it at all. All right, so st does move his head left and right. He cannot really bobble. I mean, he can kind of pretend to bobble. But he can move left and right. He does not swivel for some reason. That's weird. All right, arms move up and down, but they're... And they can do this. They can move out side to side. Can he bend at the elbow? Yes, he does. And there is a swivel at the elbow. But no wrist. He has no wrist articulation at all. And then his legs. He can move. He can kick forward. And he can do the splits. He cannot kick backward because this loincloth thingy gets in the way. Covering his butt. So he can't kick backwards because that gets in the way. He can do this, but that's not a backwards kick. That's just kind of a weird sideways kick. And his feet do not have any articulation. So I'm going to call this a disappointment. 
I'm I'm not happy with this figure. Uh, not great articulation, and I don't know what to make of this sculpt. He looks very metallic, and I I didn't want a metallic looking Gorilla Grodd. So this may be replaced later down the road with a better Gorilla Grodd, but for the time being, this is the one in my collection. Um, I usually have a rule, one figure per um, character, but uh, since this one is such a disappointment, ah, I can't bend his arm. Oh my god, I can't bend his arm. He, bend, he bends, I can see, there it is. I can see the joint. Let's see what he looks like with his accessories. I'll get put the shield in, well, maybe I'll put the shield in one hand. Will he take the shield? His hands are very fucking stiff. All right, he's not going to take the shield. Let's try the spear. The, his hands do not move. There's no wiggle room in his uh, fingers. All right, he won't take the uh, spear either, so that's a bust. Maybe I can give him the uh, mace figure? All right, this figure sucks. I changing. I'm changing my opinion. It's it's not just a disappointment. It's a flat out piece of shit. I am absolutely gonna replace that with a better figure. I just made up my mind because he can't even hold his goddamn weapons. What the fuck is that? 